Right. Okay, it is Wednesday, June 10th, and this is our final Zoom cooking for the semester, for sure, for sorry. And um, since the school year is coming to an end and it's nice weather outside, we are going to be making some very, very smoothies. Um, so I'm gonna do two different versions. They're super fast and easy to do. I'm gonna do one that's just strawberry first, and then I'm gonna do a mixed berry one after so you can see the difference, especially with the colors and things, right? Um, these are great. They are you know, a good way to get your fruit in. Um, it's got some berries, some milk, some Greek yogurt, some honey, some vanilla. Um, very simple, right? Low sugar um, is what you want. So I'm gonna be starting off today with the strawberry one first, right? Which calls for two cups of fruit. So frozen berries, right? So these here, okay? So whole frozen strawberries, right? And the big thing is, right, where it says no sugar added, okay? Um, I don't wanna use the sweetened strawberries in this because I don't want it to be too sugary, okay? We are gonna be adding a little honey in, a little bit of sweetness will come from the Greek yogurt, okay? So if all you have though is sweet and frozen berries, you may want to leave out things like the honey so that it doesn't get too sweet, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start off with the, my blender over here. I've got a nice setup going. Um, this one here has a few different settings, one of them being the pulse button, okay? So you can see this over here on the side. So you can, right? Um, and that's the setting that I'm gonna be using today because when you're using a blender, if you pulse, right, it lifts things up from the bottom of the blender, and that way the other chunks, the heavier stuff falls down and gets mixed in um, cohesively, okay? You can also do your smoothies in a food processor, but try not to fill that more than like two-thirds full, okay? And definitely make sure you always have your caps on your blender and your food processor and cover the top any holes um, on a food processor so that this doesn't splash out all over your kitchen. Otherwise, you're going to have smoothies on the ceiling. Okay, and we're trying not to do that today. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna start off with two cups of strawberries. This here in the bag tells you that it is about um, three cups of berries total. So I'm gonna use almost all of the strawberries. I'm gonna save some for the next batch. Okay, so I'm gonna put those right straight into the blender. Now I'm using frozen berries. So I don't have to use ice, right? So with smoothies and things, you don't want it to be too watered down. And ice will do that um, because it melts so much faster, right? So by using frozen berries instead, it's going to give me a smoother consistency and I won't have little chunks of ice in there too that he's trying to suck up through a straw, okay? So the next part of this is just one cup of milk, right? And you can use um, whole milk. I've got 1%, right? So if you want to go a little bit less fat, you can do that. So one cup of milk. Make sure you're always measuring at eye level, right? So that way I know I got exactly a cup, because if I measure down here, my perception's off and I'm not getting an exact true measurement, okay? So I'm gonna take my one cup of milk and that is gonna go straight into the blender, right? Nice and easy, okay? Our next part is a half a cup of Greek yogurt, right? So you can use plain Greek yogurt, you can use berry flavored, I have a Chobani uh, mixed berry flavor that I'm gonna use. So if it's got fruit in the bottom, things like that, just give it a really good stir first to make sure that um, your yogurt is mixed up, okay? And I'm gonna measure out a half a cup of the Greek yogurt here, okay? Now this will just give it a nice texture. And it's gonna use almost a whole one of these. Okay. Pretty darn close, okay? Um, so with that Greek yogurt, uh, it's also gonna give you some of the good stuff, right? So calcium, your dairy. So those of you who've been doing nutrition, you're looking to find ways to get in all those good things we've been talking about, right? Like fruit and yogurt and things. This is one of those ways, right? And then two tablespoons of honey, right? So like I said, everything you just build straight into the blender, right? Take this little cap off because it goes a lot faster if you do it without the cap. One. Nice. And this will just give you a little bit of sweetness without being too much. Okay. And honey is a nice natural sugar, right? Instead of using granulated sugar, okay? 
Um, if I was to use a granulated sugar, it may be gritty, right? And we don't want that. We want little chunks of sugar in there. Now I'm gonna use in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you can just use imitation, you can use the real thing, whatever you happen to have in your cabinet, right? If you've been doing a lot of baking with me lately, you've got the vanilla on hand, right? So this will just help give us a nice flavor, right? Like I said, the most important part of this, when you're doing anything with a blender, right, is put that cap back on, okay? So you wanna make sure you get a nice tight seal, and it's always good to hold it on top as well, right? So you keep your hand on top, especially if you have an older blender, this one's a newer one. Um, the seals and things like that, you know, deteriorate over time and can tend to break down and then it may pop the top off, right? So what I'm gonna do is just give this a little pop. And by doing want to get everything kind of start right so with the pulsing action it's like I said I'm lifting up those big heavy berries so then that way it um, circulates around inside the bottom of the blender and then I can go to the other direction you see that it doesn't have much movement so that's why I like doing the pulsing action. okay and it's good every once in a while to stop your blender okay pop your cap off and just kind of see where you're at, right? I want to make sure I don't have any too big of a chunk. I've got a couple of berries I can feel in there. Give that another couple of whirls. What I'm looking for in the blender is I get a little bit of like a cyclone action, think of like a tornado, right? So it should be moving around, which is what it's doing now. Right? It's one of our noisier zooms. Okay. That's all right. Good stuff, right? And this is a good way to get that fruit in the summer. Okay. So here is your smoothie mixture, right? You can see a little thing sticking on the side there. I'm just going to get that a little mix in. All right. Make sure we get everything nice and smooth. Like I said, I don't need to put this with ice because it's got the frozen berries, so it's already going to be super ice cold, right, and not watered down. Okay. So I'm going to pour this into my little jar. Now for fun, right, and presentation-wise, you know, like I said, you, you know, you eat and drink with your eyes, right, first and things, and you want to, you know, to look pretty for guests and company and things like that, right? So I'm just using a little mason jar, okay? So whatever glasses you have and things, but it's great to serve them in glass though because it just looks pretty, right? So you gotta make sure that you have a straw. And then I went out in the garden this morning. Some of you guys will see videos from that that I posted a little while ago. And I picked some super fresh mint, right? So a nice little sprig of mint in the top, right? And there's your first smoothie, which is the strawberry smoothie, okay? So now we're going to do our second one. So let me just pour this extra off into another container. Now, I don't need to wash this, right? Because I already have strawberries going in the next batch. If I was doing a different flavor um, that didn't have the same ingredient, then I would definitely wash out the blender jar first and the lid real quick. Um, so that way I could do it for a second one, okay? And I know some of you were mentioning last week about wanting to put bananas in. Um, chef's not putting bananas in her smoothie today because Chef's very allergic to them. So feel free, though, to throw in a banana into this uh, recipe just as an add-on, and then you'll get your strawberry banana flavor, right? Another great way to get in your potassium and things. Okay, so now I'm going to take, and I'm going to do a mixed berry version. It's going to give us a much different color, but same exact steps, right? So if you missed it the first time. Right, so I'm gonna do about two cups of fruit all together. So I also have, besides my frozen strawberries, I've got some frozen little wild blueberries, right? And these are those little tiny guys. And some frozen blackberries, right? And that's gonna give a really deep color in comparison to the strawberry, okay? So I'm not gonna do a full cup, like three quarters of a cup-ish. Okay. 
batteries. Don't worry, these extras will be getting used throughout the week. Right? You can create frozen fruit for making all kinds of things this time of year too, pies and cobblers and things. So, so we've got our two cups of berries, right? So we've got strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Now I'm gonna do another cup of milk, right? This is a 1% milk. You can use holes. Right, like I said, just build everything right into that blender. Okay. We're gonna do another half a cup of Greek yogurt, right? Just give that a little spatula here. Just give this a good little stir. So vanilla flavored, plain Greek yogurt, or um, berry, something that goes with the flavors of what you're already putting in. Okay. So half a cup of that. It is good to have a little spatula handy, right, for measuring these things out. So we've got our Greek yogurt in. And then we're gonna do our two tablespoons of honey. One. And honey is something that I always have in my pantry because it's used in a lot of baked goods. Um, you know, a little honey in your tea if you're not feeling well. Right, it's always good to have some in your cabinet ready to go. Okay, and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And that's it, folks. Right. So, like I said, most important part, putting that lid back on. All right, and then we're going to start with that pulsing action again. The color this time, much more purple, which of course is my favorite color. Let me take a peek and see how we're looking here. Couple big berries still, so I'm keep giving that another few whirls. All right, let me take a look inside. See how this looks. Right, and look at that color difference, right, compared to our strawberry. Both equally good, just different, right? So now I've got another mason jar here. We're gonna do our second flavor, right? So this is our mixed berry, or our very berry smoothies. Clean up any edges. Oh, the mess you might have made. Over there. And same thing, I'm gonna add a straw, right? And then another little sprig of mint. Got a nice cube in here. And this just helps make it feel festive, right? Plus my mint is growing crazy, so use it up. And there you go, there's the berry one, right? So our original was our strawberry and our mixed berry with the strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. 